Hello YouTube, Warfighter Amto coming with my next um, gear manufacturer review. This one is on LBT, London Bridge Trading. Um, very big time popular company on the lines of Eagle Industries. Just as old um, with some pretty big contracts on themselves. Uh, this is an introduction. I am not going to be as long winded with my uh, review this time as I was with my Cry Precision Clothing review. Uh, that one was way too long. I want to keep this one to like 10, max 15 minutes. So I'm going to get down to the nuts and bolts. Okay, starting with the history of LBT. Um, just as a side note, whenever you look at these gear manufacturers, uh, if you look at their location and how they started up, and maybe who started them, you can generally uh, kind of tell what units and branches use their gear. So uh, this, you know, this is true with uh, a lot of the gear manufacturers. So uh, LBT is located out of uh, Virginia Beach. They always have been. They've always been in Virginia Beach. So uh, if you know anything about the military and what units are around in that area, you can know who buys their stuff. Uh, this isn't always the general rule. Um, a lot of different branches will buy stuff from LBT. Uh, I was never in the Navy. When I was first issued assault packs in the Army, when I got to my unit, uh, the first two assault packs I was ever issued were LBT assault packs. One was a jumpable assault pack that was probably almost as old as me, and uh, the other one was like a extended three-day assault pack type thing made specifically for my unit. But uh, LBT, uh, I like to compare them to Eagle Industries in terms of quality of manufacturing and materials. They're pretty similar. Um, they're probably a little bit pricier, but I actually like them a little bit better than Eagle Industries because their customer service actually exists and is actually good. They have some very good customer service. Uh, you can call them. You can actually talk to a human being. You don't have to leave a message and wait for a reply a week later or can only send them an email. You can call them and actually talk to somebody that actually knows what they're talking about and knows what the company makes and how it's made and what it can do. So I've always had very good customer experience with LBT. So going into um, how they actually make stuff, um, nothing outrageous here. All their nylon is all their tactical nylon. It's pretty much stowed to industry standard. Um, they use mil spec materials, and when I say mil spec materials, I'm just talking about you know 500 and 1,000 denier. Uh, nylon or Cordura nylon and uh, you know the webbing they use and the type of stitching so uh, you know they stitch everything properly it's double stitched and lock stitched um, where it should be uh, LBT they make a wide variety of tactical nylon everything from complete pouches for every sort of use to armor carriers to backpacks to loadout bags um, I mean, you name it, LBT makes it if it's nylon. So they also have a lot of big government contracts and individual agency contracts as well. So uh, LBT, uh, they are a little bit more innovative than I believe Eagle Industries is. Um, to my knowledge, they are the company that kind of pioneered the concept of an assault plate carrier. And that's pretty much what I have in front of me right here. This is their LBT 6094 Alpha. Both of them are just different colors, uh, plate carriers. And uh, what was really interesting um, at the time when this came out, pretty much everybody was using either a Cirrus, Land, or Mar, and uh, an Eagle Industries MBAV, you know, Eagle plate carrier, and that was it. Um, they really took the feedback from um, the guys, from the actual operators that you know, wanted something more in a carrier and they put those features in it. Um, some of those features were um, built-in uh, Molly Cummerbund with radio pouches. Uh, each side of this vest has the ability to take a PRC-148 or PRC-152 uh, in it. Has it on both sides uh, because a lot of special operations leadership will run dual radios. So that was a big request. The other request was for a internal kangaroo pouch to, uh, to store ammunition. And generally these pouches, you can fit three M4 mags or two 7.62 mags, be it SCAR heavy, SR25, whatever. So um, those were two big things that they wanted to incorporate. And uh, you know, they're really nice features to have in a vest because it 
keeps your ammunition low profile. You don't have to have separate pouches. You just got to have an insert. Um, protects them, gives you a little bit more padding for your magazines, etc. So overall, it's a good thing. Uh, another thing they had on here was they wanted plenty of routing points for hydration and comms. Mainly comms because, as you can see, I got my push to talk right here for my uh, Peltors. But, uh, you know, when you start running dual radios and you got antennas and routing and all sorts of crazy stuff, if you don't have a way to manage all of it, it can really affect your setup and how you run your gear and how you run your weapon because you're just going to be getting caught on all sorts of things. You can't access equipment. So they have plenty of routing points for you to route your equipment, and uh, that really works out nice. And they also had built-in, uh, you know, unlike the Eagle Play Carrier, they have built-in uh, Velcro on the front and sometimes the rear. These two don't, but I've seen them with rear Velcro too on it. So that way um, people could run leaderboards or call sign boards, uh, you know, or IR flags, whatever it is you run if you're not a leader, if you don't have a call sign board. But uh, they also did that. So uh, other than that, it's pretty much a standard play carrier. Uh, no thrills, uh, plate carrier, typical stitching, typical materials. Um, with a side note, this is probably one of the most plate carrier, comfortable plate carriers I've ever worn, especially for what it's capable of doing. It is very, very, very comfortable. Um, I mean, it, it, for a main battle plate carrier, I'll just term it as that, or an assault style plate carrier, I mean, this is, this is the originator. The positioning of the um, shoulder straps and the shoulder straps, what they're actually made of, and the covers for them. I mean, it's just, it makes for a very comfortable system. So, um, I never got to run one of these in combat, so I, I can't really tell you how it holds up under real stressful conditions. But, uh, you know, I've worked out with them, I've done some CrossFit stuff, some uh, combat oriented CrossFit. Uh, wearing this body armor, I've done some kit run. I've done a lot of kit runs uh, in this body armor, and I've done some, you know, some shooting in it. And it's 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 just an awesome play carrier. It fills my every needs. So, uh, you know, you know, they're play carriers. They're nylon, good to go. Um, now, the only thing with uh, LBT uh, is that their stuff is a little bit on the expensive side. But there's a caveat to that the caveat is is that they offer like a permanent 20 or 25 percent. DOD employee or federal employee discount, which is just awesome if you just shoot out your federal uh, government employee email, whether it's AKO, uh, you know, your DOD email, whatever it is, and verify through them, you have the, uh, the discount for life. Um, and then throughout the year, they usually offer like one or two 30, 35% discounts. So, you know, your $350 play carrier just turned into like $260, which is when you think about it, a pretty good deal. So, um, LBT, outstanding company. They make, um, like I said, everything. They have a lot of options when it comes to salt packs. Everything from a 24 hour salt pack to a five day extended assault pack. Um, I think they even make rucksacks. I'm not sure. I think they used to. They still might. I'm not, I can't verify that. But, you know, if you're looking for a specific bag, for an aid bag, for a radio bag, um, for a jumpable bag, they make it all. Um, it's really good to go. A lot of units issue their bags. Uh, they do a lot of uh, product innovation too. Uh, you know, this little product I have right in front of me, I don't want to get into a full review of it, but this is very, very innovative. It's a low profile IFAC and it has the availability to be belt mounted or molly mounted onto a second line kit and uh, it is just awesome for what it can hold. I mean it can almost hold the full contents of a regular sized IFAC and yet it is so much more compact and smaller. Um, it's perfect for running on a belt kit the smaller your back um, and it has a quick release wire cable system. I mean it's just you know it's just top notch. So uh, one caveat to uh, what I left out about the features that uh, that were changed in this one was uh, the side, the cummerbund, and how it accepts armor. Um, with the uh, old embabs, uh, you either had to have an adapter set, set to put your 6x6 special operations side plates, or you had to cut open your vest and, and mod it and stuff yourself. 
Uh, it's not really ideal to cut up your vest and you know you might mess up the strength you know the structural integrity of it and you know not a lot of guys want that giant added bulk on the side of it to where you really can mount patches pouches so they solve that this one uh, you know it opens up it can accept the six by six uh, SOF side plates and it can also accept uh, soft armor inserts that's a proprietary cut for LBT and you can buy it as a package as a soft armor package from LBT. They'll, they'll sell this thing as a soft armor package too. So I think as long as you do have your DOD credentials certified with them. So this is LBT. Um, like I said, I haven't uh, I haven't had really any issues with their gear. Um, their, their stuff will, will usually last forever. I have a bag from them. Uh, I don't have it out in front of us now because it's full of crap. It's because I use it as my daily carry bag. But uh, you know their stuff is just top notch. You won't do, uh, you won't go any wrong with them. Uh, and if you do, you can usually contact them, and they stand behind their stuff. I've never heard a story of LBT not standing behind their stuff. With a side note, uh, just like Eagle Industries, I guess you got to be careful with this because every air softer likes to think they're a Navy SEAL for some reason. So they all want this stuff because they want to play Navy SEAL. So. Um, it drives up the prices of this stuff because now 25-year-old um, dudes that live in their parents' basements that want to play airsoft all day in Call of Duty, they, they want to own replica kits of uh, what you know real Navy SEALs have and what real special operation guys have. So it drives up the prices and there's a lot of fakes. Um, you know, if you're going to buy LBT, my, my thumb of roll is, unless you're buying from like somebody you know personally, you know that has their stuff uh you know like within like the military community buy directly from lbt or from a vetted one of their distributors you know they have several distributors that carry their product um i would do it that way too do not buy off of ebay you never know what you're getting um i mean it can and some of these e ebay vendors they get a hold of copies and they don't even know their copies um, i mean some of them can be built that good these days uh, you know, with the proper tagging and uh, all the markings and hell, even the proper stitching. So, but you don't want to buy anything inferior out there. So just, just be careful. Um, with one last note before I leave uh, with Eagle Industries, this 6094 Alpha, that's an OD. This one's in Ranger Green along with this pouch. Uh, this one is for sale. It's brand new, um, never been used. Um, it's just it's a duplicate I had I bought it straight from LBT took it out of the cardboard box and it's been sitting in my gearbox ever since I have no need for it I already got this one like I said in my Eagle Industries uh, review I'm trying to um, scale down the massive amount of uh, gear tactical nylon I have because I really do have too much so this one's for sale um, I don't think a lot of people that contact me on my last one realized how expensive this kit is. You know, this isn't this this stuff I have. It's not Condor. It's not uh, you know. It's not airsoft stuff. The stuff I have is uh, actual you know real hard use special operations equipment. So um, and the prices will reflect that. And I'm not gouging anybody. And um, you know, do your research before, you know, don't take my word for it. If I'm offering something for sale, do your research. But I know right now on LBT's website, this vest and exactly how it is, brand new, goes for $350, $360 off of LBT, LBT's website. And if you don't have your military discount, you know, um, I'll sell it. And I'm not trying to make money off my gear. I'm already making a loss, if anything. Uh, but, you know, I think uh, I'm offering my complete, you know, box armor system, the Mars series for $400, you know, with Safari Land box cut panels, which is, which is a steal because if you look at the expensiveness of brand new panels by itself, those are like 400 bucks by themselves. So, and I'm throwing in, I'm pretty much giving you the carrier for free. Granted, they're all used. So this one's brand new and I'll sell this one for 300 shipped, you know, go out. If you're interested in this and you want a good piece of kit, that's probably going to last you your entire life. Um, for that matter, I don't care if you're an airsoft and you want to play airsoft, give me a ring either. I don't care who I sell to, uh, you know, there's no armor in this, so I'm not worried about selling this to, to the right person. But, uh, 
you know, three hundred dollars shipped. I think that's a pretty fair price. I paid, I probably paid somewhere around there to have it. But uh, if you're a civilian and you don't get a military discount for them, you know, you're paying three fifty, three sixty plus shipping. So I'll do it three hundred shipped. Uh, let me know. Plus, you don't have any wait time to wait for them to build it. So that is it. Any questions on LBT concerns or comments? Um, leave them below. Uh, this is pretty much just my mini review of LBT. Um, I might do a future review of their plate care when I get more experience behind it. But I don't have a lot of experience behind it, so I'm not re really ready to offer a review behind it. But uh, generally, like I said, I'll give them a C or a B, same as Eagle Industries. Uh, they're pretty much a gold standard in the industry. So uh, just as a as a uh, shit, I don't know. I can't even talk. But uh, my next couple videos, I think, uh, in the gear review series, I'm going to do one on probably the next one's going to be on M or not MSA Paraclete, just Paraclete in general. They've been owned by several different companies, but I'll get into that. I'll do one on Paraclete, and then probably Mayflower, and then followed by some of the smaller guys. So. Uh, look forward for those. Uh, I'm still taking requests. If you want to do a gear manufacturer, all I ask is uh, just don't send me a request for like a company that just makes belts. Keep them, keep them to companies that have a pretty wide product line, like LBT, Eagle, you know, stuff like that. So, okay, with that, I guess that's it, and uh, I'll see you guys later.